Hello everyone, so today we're going to make a really quick recipe which is the organic homemade cashew milk. It's a healthy substitute for uh, those who cannot drink normal milk or vegan vegetarian people. So nowadays there are so many options for vegetable milk but to be honest this is my favourite one and um, it's really tasty and easy to do and especially if you if you do it yourself to be honest guys um, I think uh, you know what's inside is better than buying it from the supermarket which you'll never know what's what does it what does it contain so to make you only need 490 uh, milliliters of filtered water 60 grams of activated organic cashews a teaspoon of pink salt from Himalaya and 2 grams of organic cinnamon and obviously you will need a blender and a strainer to mix everything up so we're now mixing all the ingredients there's no uh, specific procedure so you can just throw everything in the blender and you just go with the flow go ahead the pink salt is going to give a nice um, taste a nice balance between the the taste of the the flavor of the nuts and the um, the actual salt so uh, remember this is an unsweetened recipe so in case you you want some some extra sweet sweetness actually uh, you will um, you can add any anything anything to it so you can either be some honey you can either be golden silver or it can be some natural um, sweet You mix until everything is nice, nicely melted. Um, everything needs to be really, really combined all together. Um, you don't want any uh, residue of the cashew to be drinked in your in your meal, to be honest. Um, but don't worry about it because we're gonna use a strainer, uh, which is gonna take all the excess of the the cashews that we haven't been able to mix. So the blending, I would say that it takes two to three minutes, but I don't know if you hear the noise of the of still some cashews that are not blended. Still, so if you still hear that noise, it means that you need to blend a little bit more. Whenever you, you don't hear that noise anymore, um, that would mean that everything is every, everything is just combined and nicely blended. So we're going to turn off the machine just to give it a little bit of rest and uh, we will start in a few seconds again. So now we take off the um, the all blended substance from the blender. We just need to strain it. 
because otherwise, um, as I said before, you're going to have all the bits and pieces in your milk and you don't really want that. gonna filter the milk because as I said you don't want the, the bits and pieces to dry and remember you enjoying the, the drink so if you see that the, the milk doesn't go any further than that you can help yourself with a little a few, a few spoon and it will help the filter you see all the residue from the from the nuts that we haven't been able to blend properly so guys just so you know um, you need to filter the milk two or three times just because just to make sure that you don't have that you had all the, the smoothness from the from the milk just to give you that nice taste clean without any residue because as you can see there's quite a lot you cannot throw that. That's quite tasty. You can you can mix it. You can keep it. Um, you can mix it when in your porridge, or you can um, use it as a topping for your yogurt. So we're not throwing that. Don't worry. It, everything can be eaten. So guys, this is the final result of the milk. Uh, I'm not going to show you how it looks in the actual glass so as you can see it has that really creamy beige uh, color and it's really really smooth um, you can actually use it with your porridge in the morning or you can mix it with your smoothies if you like um, so this is one of the many uh, recipes that we're gonna do um, if you like it give it a, a big thumbs up and I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description down below and yeah, that's all. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye!